going to take a beating off stage. That's exactly where a bit man shines. Yeah, and this is tension coming right back up. You know, he event earlier took that win against Dreadfighter in a very close set. This could have been Dreadfighter playing up against him, but brought it back. So, yeah, Fox versus Rob. I feel like Fox has the ability to just kind of walk. Once Rob has the ability to just set up a wall, right? So he's going to set up a wall with the gyro and the robo beams and just throw out all these projectiles at Fox, forcing Fox to struggle to get in. But once Fox breaks that zone, he's just going to go ham on him with all of his quick moves. Yeah, definitely. You know, Fox is a character, you know, you give him an inch, he'll definitely take a mile. You know, one dash, something as simple as just a dash attack or a jab just gives him a lot. Um, same can be said for Rob here, and that's exactly why Rob is kind of you know, keeping uh, tension out here. Abit man, you know, just building up this wall of projectiles that uh, tension is really just struggling to deal with. I think the biggest issue, you know, with fighting against a character like Rob is, is his hitboxes. They're very wonky, and they're uh, they're very like um, I don't disjoint is not the word, but you know, they hit in areas that you don't think that they connect. Right. Especially when you go for the down throw into the up air, it can be kind of confusing because of. The way you have to DI that, right? You have to like DI to the, either one direction. You have to change direction mid hits. Yes, sir. It's so bizarre because of the, because of the way like the hitbox is active. Oh. It's wonky. That was so smart on Abit Man's behalf. Understanding that Tenzo probably going to try to go for a down spell here to reflect the uh, reflect either the beam or, or just you know whatever it is that Abit Man has to throw. Baited it out, forced him to come in and punish that. Fable's very own Abit Man. Just looking pretty good here. Oh. Ooh, catching the Fox Illusion with a gyro throw. Again, opts to go for the down smash, expecting him to go on the stage. Doesn't matter. Throws out the up smash, taking away stock number one. You can't get too close to that up smash, Austin. People forget that thing scoops you up, and it scoops it from a very vast distance away. Okay, kind of playing hot potato there. I like what I'm seeing. That was a good use of the Robo Beam coming from 8-Bit Man because he saw that the gyro was coming back, so it just de deleted the gyro from not being able to enact a hitbox against himself. But if we notice one thing from the past Pratt matchup is that Tension loves Fox Illusioning into the ledge, and I'm wondering if Abit Man's going to catch on to that. Only time will tell here. Okay. Nair's right back onto the. Oh, what Ooh, the heck? Oh, what? what the heck? That gyro just created a combo. Uh, he was looking for an up smash out of shield. Didn't, didn't expect the forward air to be that many hits, apparently. Tension right now really struggling to get in. Almost got hit with the. Uh, with the idle play right there into the up smash. You know, there's character specialist, and then there's 8-Bit Man and his Rob, man. Neutral can be kind of a funny move to work again. Oh! Austin, nah, that's it. I'm done, man. Where I'm did he go? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Wait, Rob, where did he go? Nah, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Do you want to explain to me now, what just happened? And now it matters not. I want to know. Because The audience deserves to know, Tencent Rob. What happened? now only exists in our memory. It doesn't matter. That, no, I'm joking. Uh, he just... <laughs> <laughs> he got he got caught into a uh, into an unfortunate setup, and you know, like we talked about when Tension uh, played early, we were commentating this match. He plays to his strengths, but he, his weaknesses though kind of got left open there. Now the last time he played on stream, he was able to you know kind of play around those, get a W. This time though, you're playing against a guy like Eight Bit Man, who's very very good at throwing out those huge hit boxes that Rob has been equipped with, and exposing you know your lackluster recovery options. And he did rightfully so, man. That spike into the blast zone, Ali, man. Item play completely on point from 8-Bit Man. Loves using the gyro to connect either into an up smash, a down air, what have you. Because he just knows exactly where his opponent's going to fly after they get hit by the said gyro. Okay, we're going to Final Destination is the name of the stage. No platforms allowed. Okay. None at all. Now, um, both these two characters, like and I talked about, very good at you know punishing landings, especially Fox. He really wants you in that air. Um, you know, with Rob being such a big body, you'd expect you know to see more up till up air conversions. But with Abit Man just playing this very comfortable and just very safe distance away, um, it just really makes it that much harder for tension. You know. Trying to get that back here, but we see a spot dodge in effect coming from Abit Man, trying to mix him up with how he's going to throw the gyro by throwing it down first. Regrabbing it and then throwing it forward. Yes, sir. Tension pretty much on point with these reflectors. Oh, okay. There it is. Finds the opening there. Gets two up airs in a row. And this is where he, this is his strength. He wants to keep Apit Man above him. He struggles so hard to get back down to the ground, opening him up with a forward smash off stage. Turn around forward smash now. Rob, a very heavy, uh, I don't want to say guy, a very he heavy, uh, whatever that thing is, robot. Um, and so just that forward smash wasn't quite able to, uh, you know, get the job done. But 
uh, you know, Fox, like I talked about, not short of killing options as well. And with the up smash, closing it out. Great tech read coming from uh, attention. Noticing that he's going to roll to the right, ran up right in front of him, connected the up smash, and brings him to second stock number two. Yes, sir. Out. Tenta right now with this very comfortable lead here. Let's see how well he can kind of chip away at A Bit Man. A Bit Man, a little forced to play out of his element here. Now he has to look for a few uh, approach options that he didn't really have to in that first game. Because I'll tell you, man, when Tenta gets a lead, he keeps it. That's one thing I really appreciate about his play style. This is very reminiscent of his match against Dread Knight. Oh, earlier. no. Like, he lost game number one, but he's bringing it back, connecting all these up airs, overlapping him in percent again, and just running a mock. Look at that dash attack into up air connection. If he lands one more dash attack, that could lead into a kill. A dash attack, a fox illusion, a down tilt, or just a raw up smash, Rod. Just a raw up smash. He knows how to fight Rob. At first, I was like, maybe he's not really comfortable with this matchup. He wasn't comfortable with the 8-bit man matchup, but he very much knew how to fight Rob, though. And with that being said, understanding that after he threw that up air out, he had him right where he wanted him. Fantastic job there by Tension. Phenomenal. Wow. Phenomenal. That was one of the meanest closeouts I've seen all day. Wow. Game number three. 8-bit man stage pick. The platforms can come back if he so chooses. If he so chooses. You're, you're absolutely correct. Tension completely dominating with that two stock, game number two, destroying all sorts of momentum that 8 Man had towards him. What do you think 8 Man's gonna have to do in order to bring this back for game number three? Well, you know, on a stage like FD, we didn't have any platforms, and right. so now we had we got a chance to see Tension, you know, really display Fox at you know at his highest power. You know, the fact that he was finding a lot of those up tilt up air conversions really made all the difference. Now we do have some platforms to work with. We do we have a bit of distance as well, obviously, in between both fighters. I like to see Abin Man build up that wall again. Really make it difficult for Fox to come in. We didn't quite see that in game number two, and that really made all the difference. And this is winners finals of this pool. So the winner of this will move on to winner's side of top 64 tomorrow. Got it. Okay, good get up attack there. Oh, that belongs to me now. Okay, that there in the, um, as he was trying to land there, very uh, interesting there. That really opened him up for a lot of big damage. Ooh. Okay, he was looking for the run back there on the item uh, item play into the uh, spike. And no tension's got to know this matchup from, uh, you know, being an MDVA. Mr. Eric used to live there, so he does. He's definitely probably fought against a Rob in the past. Just had to wake up a bit after that game number one. This is a very close match, 88 to 89. Well, as we say that, though. Uh, Abit Man starting to pull away just a bit. Can't quite get the gyro into the up smash. He tried to go for the second read too. You see that second up smash to the right. He was expecting him to roll right. Ooh. They're both trying to rely on these tech reads or, or lack thereof. Yeah, tech. And I tell you, you know, Abit Man really looking for the scoop, but can't quite get the sprinkles if you know what I mean. Okay, gets the dare. Oh, does he get the B boop? Okay, good job. Now, too high a percent. He's able to double jump away from that scot free. Dash attack, nice job Ooh, there, that the gyro keeping him at bay. That could have connected into an up air if that gyro was not there. Smart placement from 8-Bit Man. But now Tension has it in his grasp, and maybe he has no intention of getting rid of it. Getting, uh, effectively annihilating one of his setups. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of characters in this game that are very good at like their item play, and they don't really need it per se, but Rob's a character that he definitely needs it. Wow. Let's talk about Magnet Hands there. Kind of hugged the bottom of Town and City there. Was able to snap right away. Abit Man, I do like the attempt though. Was probably looking for a dare of some sort. Tries to land back down to the ground, but there was a gyro waiting for him. Great trap placement coming from Abit Man, but Tension does not fall for it. Speaking of placement, Tension really trying to place those back airs, uh, you know, the best way possible. But, you know, it's such a scary situation when you get it between that gyro and Rob. You just never know what's going to happen. Okay. Oh, 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 he's being sneaky with these down throws, throwing the gyro down. This That's could be a gonna big grab That's gonna for 8 -bit Man. Big damage there. Turns into a big stock deficit there on Tension's behalf. 8 Man looking to prime position here to try to run away with this. Tension trying to rep MDVA. Connects. If he didn't have that gyro, that could have been easily an up smash. For sure. Okay, empty hot back air is going to do it. The one, two, buckle my shoe. He literally went for the jump empty. Jump another empty move, yeah. then finally connect to the I'd back. I say that was the one two buck issue, but let's see if one of these two guys can get the three four, shut the door. To move on to the base number two, you know, they need it. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. 
gets the item uh, gameplay here. I like what I'm seeing. You know, people a lot of times don't feel like Rob can box up close and personal. He definitely has the tools uh, needed. You know, like down tilt into jabs. You know, he can find them. Uh, sell some openings like down tilt into a grab as well. But speaking of openings here, Aben Man getting opened up with these up tilts. Oh, that was so good. Woo! Attention again, hitting him with another back air, catching a Bitman's recovery. Okay, hasn't quite touched the stage yet. You're gonna have to get on. Okay, gets the one-two. Oh, doesn't it doesn't even go for the one-two jab that time. Um, you know, that was a tool that he used a lot um, in his earlier set. Actually, just going for the full rapid jab animation. Oh my. Okay, tension. Waiting for an opening. He has 8-Bitman at 105%. Oh, that's 3D do down it. smash. That was a very risky down smash coming from 8-Bitman. Tension waits for it to go for the full active hitbox. Connects the up smash afterwards and takes home the set, effectively upsetting 8-Bitman.